Is it better to be single? Find out the advantages and disadvantages. Socially speaking, it doesn't look good if a person of a certain age hasn't gotten married. Being single is often associated with loneliness, sadness, and not being able to fulfill certain cultural expectations. Nevertheless, in many cases it's preferable to be alone. Regardless of what you may believe, being alone is not a curse. For many, it is a decision they have intentionally made and they are not sorry. For some, however, it may be the result of low self-esteem. What are the benefits of not having a partner? Well address the topic in this article. The benefits of being single. You can exercise more. Single people have more free time than married people, in most cases. Because of this, they can dedicate an hour each day to go to the gym and stay in shape. Those who have a partner often prefer to spend leisure time sharing dinner, going to the movies, or taking a walk with their partners. If you're single, you can take advantage of caring for your body, staying in shape, losing weight, or practicing a sport that you like the most. It's not just a question of aesthetics to find a partner, but to be healthy and energetic. You can be healthier. Being single can become synonymous with being healthier. However, this all depends on your daily habits. This also goes hand in hand with the time that you dedicate to your well-being and taking care of your body. Of course, there is a negative side. Women who have not been married or who have divorced at 50 years of age have more possibilities of suffering heart problems or problems of circulation. This is due to the fact that in many cases these women don't prepare food but rely on fast food. Also, this is because they don't stay up to date with checking their health each year. You are usually thinner. If we analyze and compare the body of a man before and after getting married, we notice that before marriage he is usually thinner. Believe it or not, being in a serious or formal relationship tends to make us sedentary. Because of this, we gain weight. Besides, we should take into account that when we have a happy marriage, we don't worry about being attractive to anyone else. Thus, many people stop healthy eating. In addition, this intensifies after having children. Women gain weight in the first 10 years of marriage or with a stable partner. The couple also has the same habits. Maybe when they were single, they were fine with a sandwich, but now they should prepare more elaborate meals for the family. You can find better work. Being single means finding better jobs, especially in the case of women. 
Many companies opt to hire women without commitments, mainly children, because this assures them that they are more efficient and reliable. These women tend to be more focused on their professional career and can reach higher positions in a shorter length of time. You can be more sociable. Weekend plans, plans after work, for someone who is single include many parties, get-togethers with friends, cultural events, trips, etc. However, married people go out less. They may just go to dinner with their partners, take walking the park with their children, have birthday parties with family, etc. Even thought it's cold, it's raining, or if it's in the middle of the week, a social single person is usually ready to go out and have fun. Married people have considerably less time with friends. Their priority is to spend time with their partners and children. Meanwhile, singles tend to easily make friends anywhere they go. You can sleep better. Beyond going out and having a good time more than married couples, single people who live alone or do not have partners sleep better. They don't need to worry that their partner snores, hogs the sheets, kicks, or turns on the air conditioner in the middle of the night. In the case of those who have children, they have to wake up when their children have nightmares, or want to share the bed with their parents, etc. You can have economic independence. One of the virtues of being alone is that you don't have to give explanations of how you spend your money or how much you save. Also, singles can enjoy more luxuries and frivolities because they don't have to share their earnings with their new one. It could be that this is why they dress better, go on more vacations each year, and get a new car whenever they feel like it. You learn not to be afraid of loneliness. Some single people feel comfortable and happy with their situation and don't feel afraid of being alone. They take advantage of being alone at home. They enjoy those hours to read, sleep, cook, listen to music or take a bath without worrying about anything or anyone. You can choose to not settle. Those who are single can be picky and not settle for the first person who comes along. This also applies as much finding work as it does to buying real estate or even finding a partner. Independence and autonomy has caused them not to allow themselves to be deceived and to know what they want at any given time. <laughs>